Hey guys, welcome back. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So my dear students, this is your chemistry educator Vaseem Bhatt. And from now onwards, every day, you'll be getting a video of the duration 5 to 10 minutes in which I'll let you know the tricks and tips by means of which you can solve the frequently asked questions in NEET and JE in very lesser time, right? So the topic which I have chosen today, that is the trick to find whether the isomers are the chain isomers or positional isomer. The ones who have been following me from past two, three years, I'm sure they would have already, they would already know this, but the ones, I mean, who are new to the channel, let's have a look exactly how to check whether the isomers are the chain or positional isomers in a very short time, right? And before starting this particular video, the ones who have not subscribed to the channel yet, I would want all of you to like the video and do subscribe to this particular channel and this amazing series, which I'm going to start from today, my dear students. Super tricks in very lesser time. Okay, so let's have a look. So dear students, first of all, in order to check whether the isomers are chain or positional, what exactly we are supposed to do? Dear students, I'm going to define a number over here. The number is CS, CS. What is the C and what is this S over here? Well, let me tell you, the C stands for the number of carbon atoms in the parent chain, in the main chain. And S stands for the number of substituents which start with carbon, right? C stands for the number of atoms, number of carbon atoms in the main chain and S, star, S stands for the number of substituents which are starting with carbon, okay? Now, two things you have to remember, that's it. Number one, if the CS value comes out to be same, then the isomers which we will be talking about, they'll be positional in nature. If the CS value comes out to be different, then the isomers which will be under consideration, they'll be chain. So CS value same means positional, CS value different means chain. Let's have a look on certain examples so that the concept becomes properly clear to you. It's a small trick, my dear students, right? Have a look, people. Understand properly what I'm going to say. Over here, I've taken few examples. So first of all, these are the two molecules which we have. I have to check whether these two are chain isomers or positional isomers. So what exactly I'll be doing first of all? Let me start the numbering over here first. This is carbon number one. This is two, three, four, five. And six, right? So how many carbon atoms are there in main chain? Six carbon atoms. So C value is six. Is there any substituent? Yes, I can see there is one substituent. That is CH3 here, right? This is the substituent. Is this particular substituent starting with carbon? Absolutely, it's starting with carbon, right? So six carbon atoms in the main chain and one substituent starting with carbon. So CS value over here comes out to be 61. Now look at the second one. Start the numbering first of all. Let me call this is carbon number one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, and this is six. So six carbon atoms in the main chain and one substituent starting with carbon. So CS value comes out to be 61. Look at these two molecules and look at their CS values. The CS value is coming out to be same for both. And if the CS value comes out to be same, I'll be calling these isomers as the positional isomer. As simple. Very simple, right? Look at the next one. Start the numbering first of all. Let me call this is carbon number one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, and this is six. So six carbon atoms in the main chain, and there are two substituents starting with carbon. This is CH3, this is CH3. So S value is two. So CS value over here comes out to be 62. Look at the next one, my dear students. Let's call this is carbon number one, this is two, this is three, four, five, and six. Six carbon atoms in the main chain, and one substituent that is C2H5, which is starting with carbon, right? So S value is one. So look at the CS value for these two molecules. The CS value for this particular molecule is 62 and for this one it's 61. So CS value is coming out to be different. And CS value different means chain isomers, right? So these two are chain isomers. Look at the next one, dear students. Let's call this as carbon number one. Let's call this as two, three, four, five, and six, right? So six carbon atoms in the main chain, there is no substituent, right? So S value is zero. Look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
fixed carbon atoms in the main chain. There is no substituent over here, which is starting with carbon, right? So CS value, again, it is coming out to be same. And if the CS value is same, I'll be calling these two isomers as the positional isomer, right? Let's have a look on a few more examples so that it becomes properly clear to you, right? Look at this particular one, my dear students. Let me call this as carbon number one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, and this is six. So six carbon atoms in the main chain, two substituents starting with carbon. So CS value is 62. Look at this one, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six carbon atoms in the main chain and two substituents starting with carbon. So CS value is coming out to be same. So they are supposed to be positional isomers, right? Now look at this particular compound. It's a bicyclo compound, right? It's a bicyclo compound. Now, my dear students, let's start the numbering first of all. From here, let's call it a carbon number one. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight carbon atoms in the main chain, two substituents, both the substituents starting with carbon. So CS value comes out to be 82. What about this one? It's again what? It's again a bicyclo compound only. Start the numbering from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So 10 carbon atoms in the main chain, and there is no substituent starting with carbon. So CS value is coming out to be 100. So CS value for both the molecules is coming out to be different. So they are supposed to be chain isomers. Right? Absolutely right. Now look at these two particular molecules. This is a spiro compound first. Right? It's a spiro compound. Perfect. Let's start the numbering first of all. Let's start the numbering. In the spiro compounds, we start the numbering from the ring which is lesser in size. Which is smaller in size basically. So I'll start the numbering from here. Carbon number one, this is two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So eight carbon atoms in the main chain. There is no substituent which I can see over here. So CS value is 80. Now look at this particular one. Start the numbering from the smaller sized one. Carbon number one. This is two. This is three. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight carbon atoms in the main chain. No substituent. CS value comes out to be 80. CS value again is same. That means these two are positional isomers over here. Perfect. Now my dear students, I'm giving you one question as the homework. That is a question which is already mentioned over here. Do let me know in the comment section of this particular video whether these two isomers are exactly the chain isomers or positional isomers. I hope you actually liked this particular trick, right? And my dear students, in order to get the PDFs of all the sessions, all the tricks which I'm going to give you, do not forget to join this particular Telegram channel. t.me slash w-a-s-s-i-m-s-i-r-c-h-e-m. Do join this particular Telegram channel so that you remain notified about all these small tricky videos, right? The small tips and tricks by means of which you can solve the frequently asked questions in very less a time. Perfect. I hope you liked this particular session, enjoyed this video. And again, I'm telling you, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I would want every one of you to subscribe to the channel right now. Take care. God bless you all. See you in the next video, guys. God bless you. Bye-bye.